So we're looking at our 30-day strategic plan. Establish your brand authority. And my name is Rachel Quilty. So today we're looking at action step three. And I'm just waiting for all the platforms to come on board live. So they're warming up this morning. So let me just walk through what we're going to be looking at. Establish your brand authority. We've determined that over a 30 day strategic plan, we can look at 30 action steps to design, deploy and dominate your field as a brand authority. And so my name is Rachel Quilty, brand strategist. I'm going to walk you through these 30 vital action steps to establish your brand authority in your organization, your field or your marketplace and leverage your personal branding to position your brand as number one, the authority. So our strategic plan for this month is, or our strategic goal more importantly, is to establish your brand authority. And within our strategic plan, we have three action plans. And so we're looking at action plan number one, which includes 10 action steps. Action plan number two includes 10 action steps and action step uh, sorry, action plan number three includes 10 action steps. So each action plan has 10, tens if not more, if not hundreds of tactical steps within the action steps. So that's, we outlined some of those in our full training programs. And so when we look at our strategic plan and we look at the levels or the progress we go through. So level one, which is action plan one, Day 1 to 10, we look at the action steps within our training program, Brand Yourself Action Plan. Level 2, day 11 to 20, we look at the action steps within Brand Yourself, the expert training program and our action plan there. Level 3, day 21 to 30, Brand Yourself, the authority, we look at the action steps within the action plan. And so the aim of these micro lessons is really to help you build a powerful personal brand, create a brand that attracts opportunities, develop a personal brand that reflects your potential and your goals, differentiate your brand and brand yourself as the authority in your field. And so as we've walked through all that, the one thing to remember is this, personal branding is the prerequisite to success. So by way of disclaimer, I really intended these micro lessons to provoke your thinking and challenge you to review, rebuild, re-engineer your brand authority. They're an opinion based on experience, research, consultations. This is not legal advice, nor is there any guarantees of income and no income is derived from any of the brands that I may mention. So let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Rachel Quilty, personal brand strategist, author, brand management consultant at Jump the Q Inc, a brand coaching, brand consulting firm operating in both the US and Australia with students and clients globally. And so my history was I studied economics. I went on to become employed as an industrial relations advocate with an employer organization. So I was providing business and employment law advice to contractors within the construction industry. So I was reviewing, uh, interpreting and disseminating a lot of legislation, developing policies, procedures, management systems to enable my contractors to comply with the legislation. And obviously my role involved a lot of uh, in, you know, industrial disputation, industrial action. So today we would call it crisis management, but in, <laughs> in that role, it really is just what you do every day. Um, so my role had a great deal of industrial advocacy in the commission, safety disputes, unfair dismissals, EBA negotiations, EBA, lots of workers on strike every two years and um, getting them back to work. So my role was quite um, intense and uh, it certainly was very much crisis management. 
So more recently, I've been studying filmmaking, qualified as a director of filmmaker. I've worked on a number of short films over the last couple of years. And people call me an independent producer because I've been able to get funding and support for them. Um, however, really, the, uh, the, the intention was to ensure that I was able to really capture great footage and great um, video content for my clients and students for their brand communication plans and, you know, create a digital library for them, which included their brand story, showreel, video sales messages, etc. So today we're looking at action step number three within our level one Brand Yourself Action Plan. And Brand Yourself Action Plan really provides you uh, a solid understanding of what steps are needed to build a significant and successful brand. And I do say that because we really, I really focus in on branding. And I, while I might touch on other issues periodically, our main focus of Jump the Queue is branding. And so we go from design to communication plans to crisis management plans. And the idea here is that we, we're not just talking about design, like a, your colors and your logo. We're not just talking about, you know, how often you post on social media. We go really deep into every aspect of your brand. And we are really quite unique in this field to um, provide this type of level, this level and this type of information for our clients and students. So very proud of that. And so let's quickly define authority. Someone with authority has a confident quality of somebody who knows a lot about something. I always laugh then. Um, or who is respected or obeyed by other people. Someone with authority has command, control, dominion, jurisdiction, power and sway. So there are three types of uh, legitimate authority. They are traditional, rational, legal, charismatic. And so we're really talking about charismatic leadership here. And that's the authority which is derived from the leader's claim to a higher power or inspiration that is supported by his or her followers. I mean, sometimes it is a claim. In, this, in our case, we are claiming to be the authority in our field. So we're claiming that. And uh, let's, when we respect somebody, we give them power and authority. And so we're really positioning our brand to be a trustworthy brand so that we can uh, earn the respect and trust of our clients and, and customers. So authorities who know more about a topic than other people are also called experts. Authorities whom people are willing to follow are called leaders. Authorities who force people to do what they say are called bullies or dictators, unless you have legitimate law enforcement authority. So we're looking beyond legitimate power, decision-making capacity, and the means to cause others to obey in a traditional authoritative sense and and potentially to the those in organizations where they have a level of command or authority we're focusing more on the abstract quality of authority and power and so i know there's possibly a few more academic people that are going to be thinking well there's a difference between power and authority and there definitely is so they're important concepts within leadership. Power refers to the ability and potential for an individual to influence others and control their behavior. Authority refers to the legal and formal right to give commands and make decisions. And so in this presentation and in our training, we take a little bit of license here and we literally are using the word authority and power um, interchangeably and uh, you know, if you wanted to be technical, we would be calling it brand power. And uh, But brand authority is really that positioning um, as number one. So having said all that, really the one thing that you really do need to remember is personal branding is a prerequisite to success. And every iconic brand, every brand empire, there is a an incredible personal brand that underpins that organization or that brand empire or that iconic brand. And, you know, what we do know these days is in the past we would have called uh, this level of authority, positioning, brand authority, we would have said they were counterculture, we would have said that they were 
contrarians or firebrands and today we would call them disruptive leaders and we know that most people in the, that position of authority or those organizations that have the number one have really become disruptors in their industry in their field in their marketplace in their organization and so one of the most important things you can do is really start to revisit and review your brand and where it sits right now. You need to understand your existing brand. We have a free resource. It's a brand workbook as well as a brand journal. And we've developed that, gosh, after, you know, tens of, uh, tens of, well, if not hundreds of consultations around branding, brandyourselfblueprint.com. Dive across and grab that there. So that is really what we did on day one, action step one, discover your existing brand. Within that resource, we actually do a deep dive into what is your existing brand? What are your existing customer touch points? And what is the message that they're conveying about your brand? Really important first step. So dive across to that, grab the brand journal, grab the brand workbook. The brand journal is really what I want you to start completing. It has the questions in it, it has time, well, you need to, you know, think about this, become introspective, start doing some excavating around your existing brand. So that resource is at brandyourselfblueprint.com. So why it becomes really important is, like I said, we start to identify the customer touch points. So we're determining your brand's target audience and we're determining, you know, where we're having inter interaction and connections with our clients and our customers or our customers or prospects to become clients and so really important that we start to drill down on what is our target audience what's their expectations what are they hearing from us and so today we're looking at defining your true brand authority by this stage we've done some deep diving we've got some uh, clear a clear perception of you know what our existing brand is we know who our target audience is and so now we're looking at defining our true personal brand or our true uh, brand authority and personal branding is defining your dreams and putting them into action and you know if we talk about strategic vision if we're going to be talking about strategic planning you can't do that without considering first your strategic vision or your dreams that you want to put in action so your personal brand is an outer working of your per life purpose, I say. And uh, I say that because your what I know to be true is that your life experiences, life lessons are aligned to your life purpose and your life mission. So your brand purpose, your brand mission. And really important that you start to put those pieces of the puzzle together and see where you're meant to be going. And that really is part of the core you know philosophy underpinning our our brand yourself action plan so action step number three actually has three parts we look at the vision and the mission we look at the skill set and we look at the mindset so this actual action step is literally a six hour training that we do over three three weeks and uh, so we're just looking at it as a kind of a micro lesson today and I'm only going to look at part a the vision and the mission truly successful people have built great personal brands dominating their niche or niche depending on where you're listening from brought a brought a true sense of purpose to their work and that passion is essential for your part an essential part of your personal branding and so really when we're thinking about what is a personal brand or what is branding or brand authority it really serves two purposes it is to distinguish or differentiate yourself from another brand or another person and achieve a desired result and so in this case we want to differentiate our brand sufficiently that we're actually positioning our brand as the number one brand authority in your field your organization or your marketplace and so when we think about a good name we have to think about it has a, a great first in, uh, a good first impression it's easy to remember it evokes positive associations and there's two major elements to building your brand, brand identity, your name, associations, messages, images, symbolism, brand name awareness, what exists in the hearts and minds of your customers, employees, suppliers, your stakeholders. And so you'll start to see as we walk through these steps, and we're only just touching very, very briefly on some of them. So we're starting to 
put the pieces of the puzzle together. Things will start to emerge that really are important to you, part of your brand values, and they make sense for your brand purpose and your brand mission. And suddenly we're able to see a design or, you know, an overall theme around your brand that is such, uh, you know, really starts to convey something very important about your brand. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at action step number four, dominate your field as a brand authority. And that really is all about positioning your brand. So, you know, join me tomorrow as we walk through those principles for strategically positioning your brand. I always ask the question, if your brand is a reflection of what you're capable of, what's your brand saying about you? Because we know the right brand can improve your business credibility and positioning, increase your confidence and effectiveness, improve your communication, increase your persuasiveness, earn you improve market standing, help you achieve your business goals. It can accelerate your success by helping you gain a competitive edge, premium price yourself, as well as position your brand as the authority. So you really do need to have a brand purpose, vision and mission and to achieve that, that mission, all that vision you need to have an action plan or a strategic plan like we've developed today so like I said I want you to dive across grab those free resources ordinarily there are a, a paid for consultation to our consultation 550 or 497 and so you're getting it complimentary the resources that go along with that grab them before we're going to apply a charge to them moving forward brand yourself blue blueprint.com and the other thing that I wanted to encourage you to do is dive across to the Facebook group jump the queue all of our trainings are there the resource brand yourself blueprint all the training around that resource is over there as well so there's probably about one or two hours of training over there around the brand yourself blueprint so with that I'm going to sign off look forward to talking to you tomorrow about positioning your brand as the authority and I'll see you then